You've just entered Filbert's Forum, where we peel the onion back and take a lighter look at the workplace. I do, I do, because we're talking about teamwork today. And what we have on the screen here is just an example of working together as a team. You can accomplish anything. And we happen to have six guys got together, did all they could, and somehow flipped over this huge, <laughs> giant excavator truck on its head. And congratulations to them. I'm yeah, sure that was the goal. It looks like a cat in the background, and cat's a member of ours, so um, I'm sure this is not part of their promotion uh, as well. But uh, that I don't know if you've ever uh, ridden in one of those, but they are massive, um, and and they probably wouldn't be too hard to overturn in a in a quarry mine like that. But uh, that's huge. That's good teamwork right there. It is. I I have not ridden in one, Phil, but I've been up against one, that, and you can kind of see it a little bit. I think on this picture, if this is the right sized one, but there's literally a ladder to climb up from the ground to the front bumper and then another ladder to climb up into the cab. These things right. are massive. Yeah, um, I, and I, I think about I just need like a little step to get into my Jeep. I can't imagine having to climb that every day. All right, Nick, anything else? Uh, yes, we do. We have, uh, what movie is this from, Phil? Oh, that's got to be um, Bachelor, is it uh, Bachelor Party? Is it Hangover? Wedding Crashers. Hangover, that's it. Hangover, 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 yeah. hangover, not bachelor party. Hangover, that's it. Bert, well, look at you and I. Wedding crashers, bachelor party. You can tell we're not the moviegoers here. But I will say I have seen this movie, and it is very funny. All right, but this does kind of exemplify uh, some teams that we experience at the workplace. We have one that does 99% of the work. We have I would one say that's that, kind of where I identify right there, Nick. Okay, you identify there. Then that, we have yeah. uh, now we we can pick uh, which one of these is Heath and which one is Bert next. But okay, so uh, I'll go ahead and take. I do ninety nine percent of the work here. Okay, so if we look at says he is going to help, but he doesn't. I we maybe we should crown Heath with that because we haven't talked with him yet. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah, I'm happy okay. to do the program. Yeah. Uh, disappears but shows back up to take credit for the Oh, now that definitely project. fits Burt Garland, That's doesn't Bert. it? He's, yeah. He's in and out. He's he's in. He always says he's in California. He hates California, but he's always <laughs> in California. Isn't that a, right. kind of an oxymoron there? He, he, I, he does hate California. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, that may leave me as having no idea what's going on or what day it is. So I, I, I'll wear that. That's fine. <laughs> All right. And the next one and last and final one here. Causing much controversy on the show in the pre-production meeting is The Three Amigos, whether it's a good movie or not. I'd like to hear your thoughts mm. on that. Uh, but everybody has a part, no matter the team. And one thing that we're talking about today is the stages of work. And I, we have actually used ChatGPT to help us identify which of the three Amigos personify each the best. We have Dusty Bottoms as Ideation, Lucky Day, uh, played by Steve Martin, of course, is Activation, and Ned Needlander is Implementation. Oh, there you have it. Bert, or Nick, I'm just surprised that you even remember their name. So um, that just tells me a lot. And I think this movie was playing uh, for sure at the movie theater when I was an usher as a, as a young teenager. Um, and... It's the first time I heard the word plethora. plethora. You, you and your, it's like the, the plethora. I think it's a, we have a plethora of something. I forget the exact line, but I remember, okay, that's, that's a good word. Thank you once again for tuning in to This Week at Work. If you enjoy the show, please share it with your colleagues. Forward our invites. Share the link, aimea.org forward slash This Week at Work or Follow or subscribe wherever you get your news and entertainment, like LinkedIn, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, we're everywhere you are. And you can be part of the show. Send your questions and comments anytime to info at thisweek.work. We'll see you next week, 7.30 a.m. Central Time, when we discuss what's happening this week at work.